Summary Nikki Exotica and Jasmine Pineda's bad behavior on 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 has viewers questioning if they belong on the show. Both Nikki and Jasmine display alarming behavior towards their partners, treating them as objects and denying their agency. It remains questionable if Nikki and Jasmine should have a platform on the show, as they stray from the original premise of authentic couples going through the K-1 visa process. 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 contains many chaotic reality TV personalities, but Nicole Nikki Exotica Sanders and Jasmine Pineda take things to the next level when it comes to their bad behavior. Although the women are joined by fellow male villain Rob Warren, Nikki and Jasmine have many viewers questioning if they belong on the show. This is because Nikki and Jasmine take things too far when it comes to their issues on 90 Day Fiancé Season 10. Panama native Jasmine is no stranger to the extended 90 Day Fiancé franchise, as this is the third season she's done in the franchise. She has finally arrived in the United States to be with her partner, Gino Palazzolo, and is seemingly ready to marry him. On the other hand, Nikki has been angling for a reality TV career for some time now. She's traveling to Moldova to visit Igor, a man she now calls Justin. Nikki has been with him since he was 19 and continues to date the significantly younger man despite the many red flags in their relationship. Jasmine Pineda Nikki Exotica cause headaches for viewers One of the main reasons why Nikki and Jasmine could be scrapped from the 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 cast is they both cause headaches for viewers, their partners, and likely themselves. While reality TV shows, including 90 Day Fiancé, focus on drama, Nikki and Jasmine become loud and unpleasant very quickly. Jasmine is known for manipulating situations to get her way, even if she is lying. Nikki, meanwhile, is demanding sex. Nikki and Jasmine's drama comes across as tiresome and repetitive to watch rather than fresh and entertaining. Jasmine Pineda Nikki Exotica dominate their partners Furthermore, both Nikki and Jasmine display some alarming behavior when it comes to how they treat their partners. Gino betrayed Jasmine in the past by sending her nude photos, though Jasmine allegedly cheated on Gino with her ex and continued to see her behind his back. Jasmine refuses to let Gino stand up for himself or have agency in their relationship and views him as an ATM. Meanwhile, Nikki seems to see Justin, Igor as an object. Not only did she change his name, but she demands physical intimacy from him even when he says no. Do Jasmine Pineda Nikki Exotica belong on 90 Day Fiancé? Close overall, it remains questionable if Nikki and Jasmine should have their platform on 90 Day Fiancé Season 10. In the past, fans have asked for other show villains, such as Big Ed Brown and Angela Deem, to be removed from content, however, they still appear on spin-offs. Meanwhile, Jasmine was already on two other seasons before this one. On the other hand, Nikki is more suited for 90 Day Fiancé, the other way, if anything. Overall, Nikki and Jasmine demonstrate how far 90 Day Fiancé Season 10 has strayed from the show's original premise of showing authentic couples going through the K-1 visa process. 90 Day Fiancé airs Sundays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on TLC. 90 Day Fiancé release date, the 12th of January 2014 cast, Sean Robinson main genre, reality genres, romance, drama, reality TV seasons, 9 Network, TLC streaming Savice, TLC Go franchises, 90 Day Fiancé directors, 
Rogue Rubin, Kevin Rhodes, Jessica Hernandez showrunner, Kyle Hamley.